My students, please take a seat. Today's lesson will be about magma. I don't Wiggle care, please finger. get this you creep know, away from I me. Even stand up and what are you talking about? He seems like a swell fellow. Stop this madman. Oh, SpongeBob? Huh? Oh, anyway, crew began the lesson. Charlie is such a guy, but to the main topic. For PvP, Magma has quite the offerings, being able to excel at combat in the water due to being able to walk on it and its attacks contacting with water as if it was the floor. It yields a lot of damage, which can easily put down people in PvP. However, this fruit has a lot of problems. In a combat, this fruit struggles and in combos this fruit can be hard to use because its move have really little stun and relies on your fighting styles, swords or guns for stun. Overall, however, with the right build you can be a monster with this fruit if one can take advantage of its broken burn damage in PvP encounters. This fruit is extremely good for PvE, its only issue really being travel. This is my favorite grinding fruit due to its burn damage making it the highest damage fruit in the game and its capabilities in raids is even crazier. Its first move which is stronger than its ultimate attack has extremely low cooldown which is bonkers. 850,000 belly for a fruit that has the highest damage in the game and is in my opinion the best logia for purely grinding enemies is an amazing price tag while this is questionable for pvp this is worth the price. For damage magma gets an S tier. It's the highest damaging fruit in the game so this is no surprise. For PvP magma gets a B. Its lack of stun makes it extremely reliant on a hybrid build which isn't an issue. However, this makes it to where you can't rely on magma at all for extending or continuing combos. For PvE magma also gets an S tier. Its lack of a flight doesn't hurt it at all as its ability to walk on water makes up for it. On top of being a logia, it's goaded for grinding and raids because it synergizes perfectly against NPCs. For price magma gets an S. It's on the top of the V to logias for grinding and I believe it competes with Buddha due to how fast its damage stacks up and bursts even with its amazing pv potential this is still decent for pvp depending on the build overall magma gets an s tier it's amazing and makes all pv content a breeze you bring this fruit to any boss raid npc or sea beast and you will stop them the only thing you will struggle with would be using this fruit in PvP encounters. Until next time, students, classes dismissed. Why would you give Magma an S tier? Skill issue.